Hello, Year 9. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for all the wonderful work that you have been sending me for your coursework project on portraits. We've reached the part of the unit now that we're going to start investigating and looking at the work of artists. So just a quick reminder that all your coursework must meet four assessment criteria. And for this part of the project, we're going to very much focus on assessment objective number one, which is investigating and researching artists' work. So why is it important to look at the work of others? So artists and designers look for inspiration to use as a starting point for their own creative projects, and many artists find inspiration in the work of other artists. So studying the work of different artists should give you ideas for your own work. It's really important that you choose artists and artworks that you can really relate to in your own practical work, perhaps through similar subject matter, theme or style. Portrait artist Jonathan Yeo once said, the painting I wished I had made was by Pablo Picasso and here it is, the portrait of Ambrosia Villard. So your next task is to choose two artists who have explored the self-portrait. That's a portrait that an artist produces of themselves. You can select two artists from the selection I am going to show you, or you can select one of those and discover your own artists, or you can find two of your own artists who have used self-portrait as their subject. So here are a selection of artists throughout history who are famous for their self-portraits. 1. Rembrandt, who created approaching 100 self-portraits. The portraits created a visual diary of the artist's life spanning over 40 years. Number 2. Gustave Courbet. He was a French painter who was committed to painting only what he could see and very famous for the desperate man self-portrait shown here. Number three, Pablo Picasso, who's famous for constantly changing the style of his work. And here are portraits from the age of 15 to the age of 90. Number four, female artist Mabel Alvarez, who won a prize in 1923 for her self-portrait. Number five is Tamara Lempicka, who was a Polish painter and very famous for her Art Deco portraits of aristocrats and the wealthy. Number six is Frida Kahlo, who was a Mexican painter known for her many portraits, self-portraits and work inspired by nature and artefacts of Mexico. Number seven is Chuck Close, our first still living artist. He's an American painter who makes massive scale photorealistic portraits, often of himself. Number eight, my final choice for you is Jonathan Yeo, a British artist who rose to fame with his contemporary portrait work. So now you must choose two artists to investigate. This is the information I'd like you to include in your, on your sketchbook pages. You should include the name of the artist as your title. There should be some background information about that artist. Include some examples of their work, an art critique and some artwork by you. Doing an art critique is so important. It's unpicking the, the work of the artist. It's making sure you have a good understanding and it can help you develop your own creativity. Let's have a quick look at what you might include in an art critique. You want to include the title of the artwork you are looking at, the artist that produced it and the date it was produced, something that caught your eye. Why are you including this piece of artwork in your project? What has the artist done really well? What is the artwork telling you? Is there anything that you're a little bit confused about? How would you improve this piece of work? And what would you have liked to have seen more of, perhaps? These are the kinds of things that you could include in an art critique. Ultimately, the links that you can make with artists and their work will really help you develop your own ideas. So your task is to research and investigate two artists who are famous for their self-portraits. Enjoy. And finally, I have a question. Who is this self-portrait of? 
Is it one, Claude Monet, two, Edward Hopper, three, Leonardo da Vinci, or four, David Hockney? Answers on Show My Homework, please.